You know, you look all around and you really get a sense of that history. I love the smell in the air, all the, the food and the different snacks. Hi, I'm Paul. Historical buildings not only link us to our past, but also to our future. In Zhongshan, a city with over 800 years of history, there are a number of blocks here that represent historical architectural styles. And I've come to the Sunwen Pedestrian Street in the city of Zhongshan. This 100-year-old road has witnessed the historical significance and development in Zhongshan, and today I'm going to get to take a stroll down the street. Sunwen West Road was called Ying An Street in ancient times. After the death of Dr. Sun Yat-sen in 1925, it was renamed Sunwen Road in memory of Dr. Sun Yat-sen. This mural was painted by a very famous painting and it really epitomizes what life was like back in the 1920s and the 1930s during the heyday of the pedestrian street. As you can see here, they have some people having a little zao cha or morning tea. And I really love the feeling I get because it really shows what we are living in now in modern times, what life was like in historic times. During the period of the Republic of China from 1912 to 1949, the buildings on the pedestrian street integrated the Nanyang style as well as Western architectural styles, and the street became the most prosperous commercial street in Zhongshan. It still remains a complete and unique architectural style of the Republic of China. Many of these conserved buildings have a history of over 100 years, with great historical, cultural, and ornamental value, as well as an incalculable economic value. It has been witnessing the historic development and business reform of Zhongshan for many years. This is the site of the old Sihao Hotel. It was built in 1924 and was originally a privately owned bank called the Shangshan Bank. And in 1948, it was renovated into the five-story hotel and it was really renowned back in its day. There are many different facilities for leisure throughout this area. Obviously, shopping, but you also have food and catering. There's also entertainment services. There's tons of cultural and historical artifacts everywhere, and even some art exhibitions. As a century-old street in the Nanyang style, this, this street is filled with a lot of buildings of significance and history. This is protected at the municipal government and is now the Shanxiang Culture Museum. It is a modern thematic museum that combines visualization, education, as well as commemoration and it has many historical relics and records that follow the commercial development of Shanxiang. Zhongshan Park is also located here in the Shichi District. It's on top of Yandong Mountain, and it was built in 1946 by an overseas Chinese expatriate in commemoration of Dr. Sun Yat-sen. It encompasses about 90,000 square meters. The Zhongshan Municipal Government will be carrying out long-term planning and design for the Sunwind Pedestrian Road. Their plan is to increase commerce, to develop a night economy, and also protect the cultural and historical relics you see throughout the area. This is very exciting news. Walking along Sunwind Pedestrian Street and its Centennial Arcade really gives me a sense of time travel. It is a historical mark of the city and it carries the nostalgia. It is also the spiritual home of the local residents as well as overseas Zhongshanese. And as the saying goes, no matter how far you go from home, this is the deepest memory for the Zhongshan people.